Welcome back to Coast Live. Right now, there are nearly 900 local children in foster care who need a home. United Methodist Family Services, or UMFS, has been working here for more than 100 years to serve those children. But more foster parents are needed. So Family Systems Coordinator Vanita Watson is here with us today to tell us more. Vanita, thank you for coming on the show. Thank you. And happened? I have to say, the work you do is amazing. So, um, you know, it's just a heartfelt job. I know a lot of people, you know, you've heard of fostering you know what it is but what is it really I mean what does it mean to this community it means everything um, to become a foster parent it means that you have to open your heart you have to open your home you have to open your understanding because our children come from situations that has caused them trauma yeah. so we're looking for families who have a genuine love for children families who um, want to open their hearts and homes who want to pour back into the children's lives to make them become healthy and whole yeah and I know you work with a lot of teens which yes. you know once you get to that age sometimes you know there's not a lot of families out there but what are the th I mean some of the families you've worked with personally that have had this experience I mean what do they gain from it because I know this is fulfilling so what can the foster parents that may be thinking today how can I help what would they expect out of the process well families that we work with who work with our kids um, the rewarding part is that children can come into your program broken yeah. Um, because of having to leave their homes because if you take me out of my home right now I'm gonna be broken because that's what I'm familiar with yeah and that's what I want to be with so our families embrace them with love with care with understanding with acceptance because you have to meet a child or youth where they are and when you're talking about teens and teenagers you really have to meet them where they are you can't force anything yeah. you have to let it go slowly and yeah. establish a relationship yeah so I mean the patience is a virtue in that you do it's have to help these kids absolutely a virtue so that is what you you know you yes. need to understand that but I guess for families there's a difference you know adoption is a very solid word you mm -hmm. know adoption is, is a big commitment but fostering I mean you even have short term where you, I mean so what does that mean well with foster care when children come in their number one goal is to return home and that's what we work with so when our when children come into our program and um, they know that their goal is to return home the foster yeah. family know that their goal is to return home so sometimes families will work with biological families to make that happen because oh, wow. kids will still see their families the okay. teens will see their families so we just hope that you know the two will make a difference that they will work together and that the kids understand that you know this thing is a partnership yeah it's not somebody trying to take them away from their home because we want them to go home um, and so that's what we do that's what our families do they embrace the whole idea of fostering on a short-term basis okay and I mean what other opportunities do you have for families out there I mean if, if someone is looking you know to do that how can they really start the process like what do they need what do you know if I said today I came to you and I said I want to foster what qualifications or what would you be looking for I will say come talk to me on Mondays between <laughs> 5 and 6 o'clock <laughs> um, we have orientations every Monday that okay. talks about our program we talk about the process we talk about um, what it means to become a foster parent and what are the criteria. Some of the things that we'll tell people is that you have to be 26 and older okay. because we're talking about raising teens and tweens and you have to, you know, some people think that you have to own your own home okay. or you can't live in an yeah, apartment. Yeah, I mean, the common That's misconceptions, I mean, some of those people That's think I have true. to have a home with a yard, I have to have or you a have solid family, like, you know, Or you have to be married, people. you can be single to really? be a foster parent. Yes, ma'am, wow. you can. And we welcome that. As long as you have a good heart, you're committed to the process, you can come talk to me on Mondays. No, that's, I think, and uh, you know, it is a blessing. Some people out there don't have the opportunity to have their own children. So this is a way that they can give back and they can actually help Absolutely. these kids out. So, I mean, you said, I mean, how many kids are in the system right now is just mind blowing. It is mind blowing. Um, I've been a social worker for 29 years and 27 of those I worked in foster care and adoption. Wow. And it still blows my mind that we're still in a place where we're recruiting for families to come to become foster parents. A lot of myths are out there about taking care of children who are not born to you. But if you are committed and you love children, it's a natural gift that you have. Some people say it's their ministry. Some people say they want to give back. We say come and talk. Let's have a conversation about it because it's not as hard as people think it is. Well, I can see the love in your heart and I can Absolutely. see that you've blessed a lot of people. So hopefully some people out there watching today will be able to do the same. And of course, reach out. We'll give you that information. It will be on um, our website as well. So thank you very much. I mean, we appreciate thank everything you, you do. I so we it. hope you guys can help out. Coast Live will be right back.